when the splendor of Indian summer touches the land and rims Lake Maxinkucky with red and gold, the Culver campus burst. The buildings, cleaned, preened, and polished, stand ready for the surge of students soon to arrive. In the sally port of the administration building, faculty members greet students and parents and expedite registration. A newly arrived boy from Madrid, Spain, gets help from an upperclassman. And dad, as usual, carries the load. A new wardrobe, a new life, a new world of fun, comradeship, learning, and tradition. These new students have come from all over the world from a variety of social and economic experiences. In fact, 25% of the student body receives financial assistance. But no matter what the background, each student at Culver wears the same uniform and has equal opportunity to develop to his full potential. Mother is eager to get her son settled in the dorm. Father, dazed by all the efficiency, brings up the rear, carrying an empty shoebox. Striving for neatness and perfection will become a habit. Dad went through this experience 20 years ago, and little sister is impressed. A family has flown from Brazil to enroll their daughter in the Academy for Girls. Concerned parents find in Culver's co-educational system a wholesome atmosphere, understanding teachers and counselors. In their home by the lake, girls take great pride in caring for their own room. And here they form new and lifelong friendships. They develop a sense of community and responsibility and assume leadership in the governance of their dormitory and daily life. Five dormitories for men, clustered together and facing the lake, are the heart of the Culver form of education. Culver is international living. Mike is from Saudi Arabia. Neil from Oklahoma. Their common interest at the moment is race cars. You know, it's... Study period is 7.30 to 9.30. Bed check and lights out. Culver is a secondary school, preparing students for college and adult life. It does not train professional soldiers. However, it retains enough military training to develop leadership, efficiency, reliability, and self-discipline. Cadet officers are good students, rank high in citizenship, and often are outstanding athletes. The regiment, the entire male student body, consists of the infantry battalion of three companies. The band, the artillery, three batteries, and the Black Horse Troop. The company is the very core of the military at Culver. The new boys are thoroughly and patiently coached for perfection. Each cadet and his company compete with the eight other organizations of the regiment for academic, athletic, and military honors. Classes in leadership stress the principles and techniques that also apply to civilian life. Cadets learn to direct intelligently and efficiently those under their supervision. Fall festival weekend is a time when parents arrive on campus to visit classes and check on the progress of their sons and daughters. It is also the time when students demonstrate almost unbelievable skills. 
The Lancers, a crack drill team from the Black Horse Troop, step in time with the Lancer Band. Experts from the 35-member Rough Riding Squad show how easily it can be done. This looks easy. Just borrow four horses and a springboard and try it. On Sunday of Fall Festival weekend, the spectacle of the day is the full dress parade. After only four weeks of school and three short drill periods. The Black Horse Troop moves across the wide parade ground to take their position. The band swings into place. The infantry battalion stands fast. And the roaring, barking battery comes up onto the line. The Black Horse Troop waits in readiness under the trees. After officers front and center, the command is given. Pass in review. The military is only a plus at Culver. The main emphasis is on academic achievement and excellence. 98% of Culver graduates go on to college. At Culver, great teachers, outstanding facilities, and experienced counselors await the girl or boy willing to work hard to realize his full potential. The Memorial Building, modeled after an English castle, is a gift of the Culver family. It houses the library, a complete learning center containing more than 50,000 volumes, a microfilm and record library, and the information retrieval center. Over 100 current periodicals and newspapers are available. The library and its comfortable lounge, done in English Gothic style, is open seven days a week. At the head of the stairs is the major young room for individual study. On books for to read, I me delight. Here in the quiet of this room, books come alive for the imaginative student. Shakespeare's Richard II speaks to the boy. This royal throne of kings, this sceptered isle, this earth of majesty, this seat of Mars, this other Eden, demi-paradise, this blessed plot, this earth, this realm, this England. Students who are assigned to the Developmental Reading Laboratory work on an individual basis to increase their rate of reading, to gain a greater degree of comprehension, and to strengthen their vocabulary. One morning, the teacher brought apples to the students. So it was morning, a class in creative writing. I'm going to ask a series of questions. Stating that to write well, one must observe well, he would ask questions, they would write poems. Don, what'd you come up with? There once was an apple, bright red, who to a fellow brother once said, I'm afraid it looks dim. We'll be picked off the stem and put in a strudel instead. <laughs> These 
Canterbury Tales by Chaucer. In the history of literature and English course, a stimulating teacher with degrees from Cambridge and Oxford makes Chaucer's Canterbury Tales live again in the imaginations of his students. I think some of you know was Thomas Beckett, that's right. And to go to Canterbury, they formed themselves into a group for protection and for company. The group met at the Tabard Inn in Southwark and Chaucer himself was a member of the group, which consisted of Neen and Twenty in a compania of sundry folk by aventure fallen fellowship and pilgrims were they all of Culver believes that the study of classical languages enriches the lives of students by giving them an acquaintance with Greek and Roman cultures. Today we are reading the Battle of Marathon, a battle fought between the Greeks and the Persians on a plain outside of Athens in 490 BC. And Dan, would you read it in Greek for us? Darius Basilus, Ain Ton, Person, Kai Erke, Panton, Ton. From the Ides of March, or a special invitation. And with the standard of ancient Rome flapping in the breeze, a retired Latin teacher who has become a legend in his time prepares to pay a nostalgic visit to his former classroom. Salway. Salwete, discipuli, excellentissimi, magistri, estius, Frederici, Hase. Westico, Subodo, Militus. Russian is taught by a thorough and inspiring teacher. Все предсказание сбылось. А почему теперь солнце зовет ее? Она все время спала на темной башне, но наконец проснулась. И собирается выйти на свет, на свежий воздух и на новую жизнь. А когда они спускаются по лестнице вниз в парк, что она хочет держать? Перила? Нет, его руку. Die Übungen auf Seite 69 machen und Teil 2. German is a popular course at Culver. Wie teuer ist der Pullover, Fräulein Schale? Der Pullover kostet 30 Mark. Ja, der kostet 30 Mark. Vamos a practicar el verbo. Spanish students drill on vocabulary. Merci, levantate, ven aquí. The aim of this course, as with all modern languages at Culver, is to train students so thoroughly that they can converse fluently with people in their native tongue. Now begin. French students take a test on tape in the information retrieval center. Je trouve que la belle. Je crois. Je crois que la belle. Cat. This cacophony of sounds from the Fine Arts Building resolves itself into private lessons and band rehearsal. TZ, Saint Sa, and on the R, try to make it a flipped R. Don't roll it, but don't make it an American R either. Caro. Okay, let's start, um, just start with Saint Sa. Students in art have an opportunity to direct their creativity to drawing, painting, etching, silk screen, and woodblock printing, ceramics, and metal sculpture. Students of the dance learn the art of self-expression through movement. Drama students and faculty have built a puppet theater. They create the characters make the costumes, write the script, and arrange the music and sound effects. Pollution was a recent theme with a hippie, a farmer, a cop, a talking raven, 
a judge and his daughter, and a junkyard chorus doing the can-can. Math is a must in this technological age, and when taught by a dynamic teacher, it becomes fascinating. Line J is parallel to line K, and that angle 4 is congruent to angle 7. And we want to prove Computer math is a comprehensive course designed by members of the mathematics department. It prepares students to plan, write, and run their own programs on Culver's mini computer system. And see if it'll operate. So now I'm going to type in the uh, number 25. So I have 25 n equals 100 times h plus 10 times. Terminals are located in classrooms, the science department, and Ginolat Hall for independent study, from breakfast to bedtime. This chemistry project is to determine the value of a Faraday, a unit of electricity used in electrolysis. In a physics lab, two pucks, separated by a spring and supported by compressed air, travel on a linear air track. The instructor states the theory. The object is that with the same force acting on two different objects of two different masses, that the velocities that they will attain will be inversely proportional to the masses, and therefore the momentum will always be equal and opposite. And that's about it. The students set about to prove it. Heart surgery on a frog. Advanced biology for honors in science. A college level course. You got some real sharp scissors. Now, we're all set to put a hook through the apex of the heart right here. Culver believes that there is a direct relationship between physical fitness and scholastic achievement. That competitive sports develop integrity, loyalty, leadership, and pride in physical skill. Twice a year, every student is tested for agility, speed, coordination, strength, and endurance. If necessary, special corrective exercises are prescribed. Good coaching can motivate. Only rigorous efforts by the boy can make him a superior athlete. Be on top, you've got to think fast and move fast. Every Saturday morning in the fall, intramural football fields swarm with company teams locked in fierce competition. The infantry tries to overrun the battery. Rowing is a classical sport. Ancient Romans rode on the Tiber. King Edgar of England in 973 was rowed to his coronation by a crew of eight kings. Crews of Culver have rowed on Lake Maxincucky for more than 55 years. Culver's own challenging golf course is within walking distance of the campus. During the spring, fall, and summer seasons, Culver's 15 tennis courts are in use from morning to night. Basketball in this part of the country, and particularly in the state of Indiana, is known as Hoosier hysteria. Over the years, Culver's varsity polo team has won the National Interscholastic Polo Championship and the U.S. Polo Association's Sherman Cup several times. And go they did.
soccer has become one of Culver's most popular sports, both on the varsity and intramural levels. As soon as the green starts to push up through the brown grass of winter and the fresh winds from the lake can blow away the aroma of mothballs, the boys are out. Fencing has been a varsity sport at Culver for more than 40 years. Most opponents today are college and university teams. The co-eds train with the boys in preparation for their own matches. As is fencing, tennis is a girl's varsity sport. Strenuous training in any sport is an accepted fact, but it's fun too. Although the Culver co-ed shares many of the facilities of the recreational complex with the boys, she has areas for her exclusive use. There is a correct way, a safe way, to dismount from the uneven bars. And there's a correct way, a safe way, to dismount from a horse. Girls' Equitation, an elective course for beginning, intermediate, and advanced riders, meets once a week for two hours. Recreational riding is held in the afternoon and on weekends. Dressage is the training of a horse in obedience and precision of movement. It requires a determined yet patient girl and an understanding horse. Culver's riding hall and stables, home of the Black Horse Troop, is the largest in the nation. Here there are 130 horses to get acquainted with on a first name basis. Most of the boys who join the troop have never ridden before. It may take a lot of work and a lot of time for an opportunity like this. A trooper needs a little help. The harness shop has had full-time harness makers for more than 75 years. They make special equipment for the polo and jumping teams. 130 horses cover a lot of ground. They need shoes. In a jumping class, instructors with videotape equipment study the student's handling of the horse and the rider's form. In the lounge of the riding hall, the instructor in jumping points out the errors in each individual's performance. When the class meets again, the students take to the hippodrome to work their mounts on the fences. Another plus at Culver is flight training, a prerequisite for living in the space age. Nothing will mature a young person more quickly than to take the controls of a plane and climb over the treetops. The experience may turn an introvert into an extrovert. Pre-flight training in ground school covers radio communication, meteorology, navigation, and FAA regulations. Tradition dictates that when a student lands after making his first solo flight, he loses his shirt tail. It will be autographed by his friends. The time has come for this fledgling pilot to take the controls. She goes through her pre-flight check, studies the map with the colonel. Now the pre-takeoff checklist. She's up and away. Graduation has come, and with it, the traditional Iron Gate ceremony for the cadets. White dresses and flowers for the girls. 
this graduate adds her name to the growing list of alumni from the Culver Academy for Girls. Last moment comes with the opening of the Iron Gate. As their names are called, one by one the first classmen leave the cadet ranks. Salute the colors. receive their diplomas from the superintendent and are welcomed into the ranks of over 10,000 alumni. A great-grandmother is watching a dream fulfilled. The solemnity of the occasion is broken with the command, Dismissed! Scores of hats fill the air. And now it's over. But this is by no means the end. For Culver is a preparatory school for college, for adult life. The graduates of Culver have met a series of demanding standards. And they take with them the courage, integrity, and the confidence that enable them to meet any challenge that will face them. As commencement fades from reality to memory, graduates begin to realize that an intangible part of this preparation is due to the joys and sorrows of day-to-day -day living. Cycling along the lake, creative hours in the hobby shop, a chance to unwind with friends in the dining hall, the unforgettable experience of sitting in a German class spellbound by the instructor's rich interpretation of Goethe's The Singer. The Ritter sind so furcht erregend, sie sind so kühn, sie sind so mutig, wenn sie nur eine Lanze des Feindes ansehen, was tut die Lanze? Sie splittert. Ja. The traditional formal dance with its colorful officer's figure. chapel on a Sunday morning. These are the Culver experience. In recounting his Culver experience, Hal Holbrook said, there are places on this campus where I fought and died and lived again, and out of that I got me and that's what counts. <laughs>